Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Kite Army. So I clearly have a problem with buying things online. I somehow ended up in a unfortunate situation where I own two drones. One of them is the Blade Chroma uh, made by Horizon Hobby and the other one is the DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Both of these drones are awesome and if you had either one of these, you'd be smiley like me. What I want to do today is talk to you about how each of these drones performs and sort of what the best features are of each drone. I'll also show you some video from each drone. By the end of this video, you'll know which drone is the best drone for you. And in the meantime, you'll stay plenty entertained. Anyway, let's get to work. All right, the first drone that I'm going to be flying today is the Blade Chroma. This has got the 1080p monitor on that. Here's the remote that goes with it. You can see what's awesome about this remote. It's got a screen built in. Here's a video of the Chroma just hovering above the ground. It was really breezy out there this day, so it was kind of moving around a lot like I talked about. But the thing that I want to point out is how steady the airframe is. That translates into a really steady video, and that's one of the reasons why I like the Chroma over the DJI for video. The other thing about this drone is they have this smart mode. No matter what orientation it's facing, when I push away, the drone travels away. Now watch this. As it goes away, I'm going to spin it, and I'm just holding that right stick. If I pull it back towards myself, the drone will always come back towards the remote, even if it's spinning. All right, the Chroma is now in follow me mode, and I'll walk towards it, and you'll see how it'll react. run back to the home base, you see that it follows me. Here's some video footage I shot from my Blade Chroma. This is about my fifth flight, and you can see that smart mode comes in so handy here. It lets me keep my subject in focus and kind of gives it a real professional finish on the video. Again, that's why I love the Chroma for video. The next drone I want to talk to you about today DJI Phantom. This is the three standard. They have a three advanced and a three pro. This guy can pick up right now for about $450. And I'm telling you, the amount of technology packed in that little box is amazing. The DJI does a great job of hovering in one spot. You can see it staying in frame. That being said, there's a lot of camera vibration. Once you get comfortable flying the DJI Phantom, you really start enjoying... That was close. It makes flying the Chroma feel like you're driving a school bus. Here's some video shot from the DJI. You can see how smooth it is. I have to say I've really come to enjoy flying this aircraft. One of the flight modes of the DJI Phantom, which I love, is called point of interest. You basically set a location and a radius for the Phantom to travel and it will continually go around you in circles. This is what the camera view looks like from the DJI when set in POI mode. I love this mode. I think there's so many things you can do with this mode that are a lot of fun. For example, stand in the middle of a soccer field and raise your hands in the air. So now that you've seen video and demonstration of both of these drones, I can kind of summarize what I think of both of them. First off, I think both of them are great. My preference for a drone if you just want to shoot video or is your first drone and you don't see yourself really going on to a next generation drone, I think the Blade Chrome is excellent. If you really want a pilot's drone, one that you fly around for RC purposes, is fast, maneuverable, and can grow with you, I think the DJI Phantom is an awesome drone. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you around real soon. And drone on.